heavyweight collision between AJ, Anthony Joshua, and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Well, I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is a spectacle of the highest order. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, decorated former boxing champion, and now seeing if his game will translate in a mixed martial arts setting. Many of you have seen the videos. He was training with the gorilla Darren Till, and that video looked pretty good. Not a lot of wrestling there, though, and pundits have wondered where the takedown defense is for Tyson Fury, because assuredly, the elite heavyweights of the UFC are gonna be trying to shoot at this man's legs and potentially ground him and pound him out from there. But as they say, every round begins on the feet, where Tyson Fury is at his best. Excited to see how it goes for Fury in the big show too. Well, this is a spectacle, folks. I never thought I'd see the day. Anthony Joshua, AJ, making the walk to the UFC Octagon tonight. Say what you want about his wrestling or lack thereof, but there is no denying this man's boxing chops, his technical ability, his ability to rise to the occasion. This guy's selling out big arenas across all of Europe. I don't expect him to be phased by the atmosphere here tonight. We'll find out how he handles it tonight. for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Tyson Fury! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Anthony Joshua! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other, they will trade punches, they will trade kicks. It's gonna be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Sound defensively blocks the shot. with that right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Joshua's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go in round one. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big powerful punch man. Now he gets back to range. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, slip. 
steps to avoid the right. Joshua gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Joshua's got the tie clinch now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> His misses are out of Joshua gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by him. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Second round underway. Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to punch hurt very bad with him. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Counter punch is good by him. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind him. Joshua gets caught with that punch. Lands the right hand. He's able to slip the left there. Oh, single collar tie here. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! He just slumped looking to finish now because he's got his opponent here very bad. Oh, straight right. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Connects with a right. Oh, straight up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and they got right to the target. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Oh, nice punch there by Anthony Josh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Fury's lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. Just misses with the straight right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and 
That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop for this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Joshua.